What is going on fam in the six speed? Got the wifey here. We're on our way to go pick up a new grill we had made for the well, this truck. I think it's gonna be pretty sick. I think you guys are gonna like it. We have done grills similar to this, but this one's gonna look this one's gonna look really really good for this truck. It's something that I was thinking about doing, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then I changed my mind. I'm like, you know what, I am gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it different. I'll show you what I'm talking about once we get it picked up. Okay, fam, so we got something crazy. I'm so excited to show you. I think you guys are gonna love this. A couple of things we got to do here today, and it's gonna be some pretty exciting stuff. I just really hope that you guys see this as just as cool as I do. Um, I popped the hood just now, so that's why it looks like it's open, because it is. But look at the sunlight. You can finally see that green. Bumper. You can see the green. Yeah. We've got a new grill. I just had painted up. Black forest green. We've got new headlights that I've had actually for months that I was going to put on Big Blue. The Big Blue Fortune that I had. I bought some headlights for that truck, but I never got around to installing them because I sold the truck. I'm like, well, that's a waste of headlights if I put brand new headlights in it because I'm selling it. So I didn't put the headlights in the truck, but I was excited to do it because they look really, really cool. It's not like anything crazy out of this world, but I think you guys are going to like it. I'm going to open these headlights up. I haven't opened the box up yet. Hoping they're what I wanted because if not, um, it's probably way past the return date. Now these are made for the 2013 to 18 trucks that did not come with LED headlights. They're nothing crazy, but they're just supposed to be a super simple plug and play sport color match housing style headlight for those trucks. And it's gonna look really good once we get the grill put on, which I also have not showed you yet. So let's get to installing these and installing that grill. Cause it's gonna be sick. I mean, I think it's gonna look really, really good. Like I said, this is just basically like a Ram 1500 to 3500 like sport style headlight, but it's gonna look good because if you saw the previous video, I put the sport tail lights on the truck and they're just a little bit darker. They're still like that red color, but they're just darker and they're LED. So this is gonna tie into it really well. Like I said, I want this truck to be modified aftermarket for people to know like, dang, factory style parts on it that came from Chrysler or Mopar, but I didn't think you could get a regular cab with all those options. Like I want people to think that when they see the truck, like it looks like it's got a bunch of factory options on it, but obviously it's gonna look aftermarket when it's done. It's gonna be looking aftermarket and really sick using a lot of OEM style parts. But before we install the headlights, and here's those tail lights I was telling you about that we put on the truck out of the sport tail lights too that'll kind of match it all. Check out the grill. Bam, here it is. If you can see it, wow, the lighting is really bad but it's a black forest green paint matched Longhorn style or like the newer Ram high trim level style grill. So it doesn't have the Ram lettering in it yet, but we do have that. I actually bought the lettering for the grill and I did test fit it, so it is gonna work. There's some dust and stuff on it just from, you know, I put it back in that dirty bag that it came in, um, but it's just, it looks really good. You can see the sparkle, the glittery green in the paint. It looks gloss black until the sun hits it, but it's going to be great. Well, we got the headlights swapped out. There's the factory ones. There's the factory grill. And here it is right here. Oh man. Doesn't it look freaking good? Like I said, the sport headlights, paint match grill, which is basically like what the sport grills would look like on those trucks when they're new. We've got the sport tail lights. Yeah, right now it might not look so complete because you're thinking there's gotta be more to it than that. Well, there is. There's gonna be stuff changing with the cab lights, fog lights, suspension setup is gonna change up. The wheels and tires are gonna be freaking baller on this thing. It's gonna be crazy. But right now I'm gonna finish by taking off the fender flares because I took one of them off in the previous video just to show people what they look like underneath. But I didn't finish, but you can see the sunlight's not hitting it quite right where it's parked right here, but because you can see it gets like almost black down here and it kind of fades together. But when the sunlight hits this, you can see the sparkle the green sparkle in that grill and in the bumper. It looks so freaking good. We're gonna get to taking off the fender flares and the mud flaps. And hopefully we can get that done real quick. Get that part of the truck at least complete for the day. It 
let me show you what we got going on here. I just started the truck up because we got to head out here. Fender flares are all off. Headlights are on. Everything works. And that's actually, it almost acts as a switchback. Um, it's a white daytime running light. And then once you hit your turning signal, it actually flips over to amber to your turning signal. It looks really freaking good on this truck. I mean, there's supposed to be a factory OEM, like, uh, you know, sport headlights. However, those are supposed to come. That's how it is. I got to clean out these fender. That's all the dust that was underneath there, underneath those fender flares. It'll wipe off. It's just really, really dirty. Everything works. That is everything we have on this truck today. Pretty satisfied. I think it looks really good. If you guys want to know where I got the headlights, the headlights were actually a kit that I found on Amazon, which I know there's people that don't understand how things are manufactured. And they go, oh my gosh, it's an Amazon made part. Amazon doesn't make these car parts. Mopar and all these other companies, they sell stuff through Amazon. Amazon is just a distributing company and website. It's just an e-commerce site that sells a lot of that stuff. But that was actually on Amazon. So if you typed in like 2015 or 2016, 17 or 18, Ram sport headlight or Ram headlights, those will pop up as an option. I think they were like 300 some dollars. Grill, that was also on Amazon for like 265, 270. And then I bought the letters for a hundred bucks. If you just type in 2018 Ram letters or Ram grill letters, those will pop up. I had the grill paint match that I just popped the letters on. That's all they do. They just clip in through the grill. It's super, super easy, super self-explanatory. Once you get them, you know what I'm talking about. Tail lights, those are from a retro shop. I already said that in my previous video, but those are from the retro shop website. I'd never heard of them before until I wanted to do the sport tail lights. And they were the guys that sold the tail lights with a kit that came with the connectors. But in terms of this truck, guys, if you want to enter to win this truck, 20X entries are live until May 14th, and then they're done. So get your 20X entries while you can to win this 2018 6 7 Cummins with $5,000 cash. Link is in the description below. Just go to lmpgear.com, and every $5 you spend on any hats, shirts, hoodies, keychains, decals, it doesn't matter, any of the apparel or gear on the site, gets you 20 times the entries to win. I'm going to continue this video later on when I meet up with my buddy Jeshua to go trailer shopping. Well, this is going to be fun. Yeah. So to end out my video, Jeshua said he wanted to look at some trailers. I said, well, what the heck? Let's look at some freaking trailers. There's a really busy place right by our place that has a whole right. bunch of trailers for sale. So we're going to go look at some freaking trailers. Let's do it. If you saw Jeshua's video that he was in the other day, his idol was acting up. Have you had any problems with it since we fixed it? No. Nope. Good. You're taking it right? Yeah. You're going to turn right here. He actually was just talking to me in the house. He said he's going to try to get a hold of maximum overdrive transmission which is where we've had a few transmissions built reagan's black truck her transmission was built at maximum overdrive too um, we just have a good relationship with, with them down there and they've always done a good job he might get his truck service down there and have them look into the transmission and see if it's something simple because sometimes it's simple simple stuff like somebody said oh yeah there's a couple bolts on the side of the transmission and this bolt and this bolt means this if you turn this in it tightens up a band and then if it tightens the band it won't slip i'm like what the heck I don't get it um, but if, if it really is something that simple he'll be able to tell us that and just fix it and it might not he might not charge us anything because I remember one time I took a truck down there because I thought I had an issue and it really didn't even have an issue so he didn't even charge me because it was just something stupid that would be cool because it could be something real simple because he said it was rebuilt recently and we'll see I mean we'll find out we'll hear it from a transmission expert himself we're gonna go look at some trailers here and uh, try to get a feel for what Jesh was looking for and See what, see what they got in stock. Oh man, here we are. They got Big Techs, they've got Diamond Trailers, they've got uh, Rice, they've got, so, they had a couple used PJs here at one point, but they're gone, they were goose eggs. Um, they've got some other smaller ones that I've never heard of before, but I mean, all if all you're using it for is landscaping, uh -huh. it's hard to buy a trailer that doesn't work for landscaping. <laughs> like, it, it, there's, it's just an axle with a deck on it, you know. So we're gonna look at some stuff, and uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what he says. Okay. So we looked at some trailers, but they're all pretty up there in the price. I mean, even this little 77 inch by 10 footer is 1,800 bucks. Yeah. But I'm not looking for something as nice as that. Looking for something around the same size, but those are extremely nice trailers. Diamond C, they look nice anyways. They're also priced very expensively. That one, that little small, tiny one, and then this one, they must be the same size, because they're the same price. And then two feet longer cost you a hundred more dollars. 
so I'd do that, but I want to spend like 1400 bucks. And the thing is, I was telling him, I'm like, here's the thing. If you're just hauling a mower or mulch, you don't need to spend that much money just to haul mulch or mower. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're working the thing to death and you're hauling cars and heavy equipment all day. And it's like super important for like hydraulic brakes and surge brakes or all your other different options that you can, you know, get depending on what you want. Like, I don't know, it's just not necessary for certain jobs, you know what I mean? Just went and took a little look, didn't really see quite as much as what we were hoping for. I thought when I was here last time there were more trailers to look at, and I think there were, but with everything going on right now, even when I was in there, he's like, honestly, you're the only person that's coming to buy a trailer this week at all, and that's all they do is sell trailers, you know? So he's like, we're probably not gonna be carrying much more, much more new stuff in at the moment. So he's like, if you're looking for anything in particular that we don't have, you might have to wait a couple months until we see how things go before we restock on certain things. Just depends how things go, I guess. So that's going to put an end to this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to claim your 20x entries towards winning this truck. This 2018 6.7 comes with only 11,000 miles on it and $5,000 cash. 20x entries end in three days. They end on May 14th, so if you want to get those, don't waste any time. Thank you guys so much. Link is in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.